So I did a post on this on the Extras channel, but I thought the mechanism was interesting enough that we should do it on the main channel. So this is the ejection mechanism for a little DVD player. Now this hook is the thing that keeps the DVD player pushed in. And you do have this little hole here that you can poke something into and then you can wiggle it to release the, uh, the DVD player if it's got stuck. So that works that way for the manual ejection. But the automatic ejection with the button is pretty interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'll just... Uh, this little micro switch is the thing that tells the device that the um, DVD is all the way in. So I'll just stick a bit of um, blue tack in there to make that switch. So now the DVD player thinks of the DVD in. Now this mechanism is really quite interesting. So if I hit the eject button, that's not quite switched in. Okay, so obviously let's make sure this is actually engaged. So if I hit the eject button, you can see that what happens is this carriage moves back. It hits this um, small blue protrusion on this, um, this cam shaped thing. And what's happening is when it does that, so if I move this back manually, you can see the blue cam moves slightly, not by much, but that's enough to engage a little pointy out part on this blue cam. And they keep turning this worm gear which then pushes this even further. So if we lift the worm gear out of the way, you should be able to take that out because I've undone the screws. Then you can see underneath, we have this little pointy out bit and that engages with the worm gear and then they keep turning the worm gear, which then rotates this even further, which then moves the hook. So pretty intriguing mechanism, quite, uh, quite clever. I thought that was quite smart. Um, so everything is just controlled by this worm gear, which is uh, very minimal on the component count. So check out the Extras channel for a more detailed um, take apart and try and fix. But yeah, thanks for watching.